Good morning, guys. I am getting ready to go for my first ever PRP appointment. <laughs> I can't remember what PRP stands for at the moment. This is a bit of a hair update video. So thank you for all the love on my New York vlog. I get a lot of comments being like, oh, I love your awesome Scott's trip to New York. Like more vlogs like this, please. Obviously, travel vlogs mean we have to travel. So I didn't know whether it was you guys really like just seeing me and Scott or whether you like seeing me and Scott on holiday. <laughs> um, so let me know in the comments, like what is it about those vlogs that you like? Is it the fact that we're like traveling, exploring somewhere new, or is it the fact that we're um, just in a vlog together? Because we can vlog here in London together. I just never have done, because I always felt like it's just like mundane everyday life, do you know what I mean? Um, that was the Elemis Glow Priming Moisturiser that I just put on every day. And then I use a bit of NARS Creamy Concealer. So yeah, hair update. It's been about three months now since I had my hairline transplant. And finally, I'll come closer in a sec so you can see. Finally, hairs are starting to appear in the transplant area. Also, I was just trying to use my a heated eyelash curler and it broke at the back, like the whole thing snapped off and there's no way to like actually use the the mechanism anymore. So guess I won't be curling my eyelashes with anything anytime soon. All right, so hair. I don't know if this is even gonna pick this up, um, but can you see here? You can see like all the hair is starting to come through here. There's a bit of redness still, that's because I'm extremely pale, so I think it's gonna stay red for a while. And obviously, because there's not a lot of hair there, you can still see the redness, but look at all these hairs. I, like, I never had hairs here before. Literally never had hairs here before. Now you can see them all coming through. So I'm very excited, because apparently in the next couple of months when we start seeing some like real growth, so hopefully in like a month or two in a vlog, I'll, my hairline will be looking very different. But yeah, PRP is something that British Hair Clinic include included in my package um, and it basically involves taking blood out putting it in this is it centrifuge i think that's the word they put it in this machine that spins the blood and separates the plasma from the rest of the blood and then they take the plasma and then they're going to inject the plasma into the top of my head apparently it's great for like loads of things um but apparently it's really good for stimulating hair growth and like healthy hair and scalp and stuff so that's what we're getting done today apparently it hurts but hopefully it doesn't hurt as much as the anesthetic for the hairline transplant, because that stung. Also, you know that I love Maison Margiela fragrance, and I just received Coffee Break, which I think has been out for a while, but I never tried it before, and it's absolutely incredible that went in my mouth. Got my wallet, my lip balm, my charger. Um, just going very comfy today in my Adidas Balenciaga tracksuit. Got my little water bottle, my super busy bag, and I'm ready to go. We'll sort it. See it, say it, sort it. So I just put on my Instagram story that I'm going for my PRP and quite a few people are replying saying it's not as painful as they thought it was going to be. So that gives me a bit of hope. Okay, so we've spun my blood and here is the plasma and that is gonna be injected into my hair transplant area to help promote growth. Is that right? <laughs> okay. Okay, so we are done with the PRP. Um, it wasn't as painful as I thought it was going to be. It was um, a bit like Botox, similar to Botox, like a small prick. Um, but they did mix the plasma with a bit of anaesthetic, so that helped to numb. The area is quite numb now as well. Guys, I'm back after my PRP appointment. Uh, I need to get Scott to buzz my hair again. As you can see, the redness has like already gone down from the PRP. I was red from the transplant anyway, so ignore the redness. But as you can see, like stuff is happening here. Like we are seeing hairs growing. Um, it's definitely more on this side than this side at the moment. But the doctor said that the PRP will obviously help stimulate growth because it's like the platelets, the plasma platelets. I don't really know the proper lingo. Um, basically just encouraging healing and growing in these areas. So hopefully it'll speed things up a little bit. But I'll keep you updated this week of how this is going and we'll have another chat about the hair transplant in general 
um, as this week progresses. Hello guys, I've switched back to my Canon camera. Um, it's been about two weeks since my PRP treatment and I genuinely think that it has helped speed things along with the growth progress. I hate seeing close-up shots of people's hairline, <laughs> like I don't love it. But I hope this is helpful to show you just like what is going on. So we're into month four right now. I just posted kind of like a, a very honest Instagram story um, because someone kind of reminded me that the the recovery process for the hair transplant is um, like a knock to your mental health and it honestly really hadn't entered my mind um, but I do feel like I have been feeling very down for the past a uh, few months so so I do think some of that is down to um, the hair transplant and it just made me think like it just made me like second guess everything I was like should I have shaved my head should I have got the hair transplant but in posting that Instagram story I've received so many replies of guys that have had a hair transplant or that are currently going through it that are saying like just hang in there like patience is key because before you know it uh, you'll have a different kind of like outlook. And it's hard to like see, when you're in the trenches, it's hard to see like the light at the end of the tunnel. And it's obviously all very like superficial because it's to do with my hair. Like I'm not, um, I'm not ill, I'm not ill. I'm not like upset about anything else. It's all like vanity. But I think that is your own perception of yourself is such a big part of your own like mental well being. Um, and I've always had like a great perception of myself. Like I've never, I've never been too hard on myself on the way of my appearance or the way that I look. Um, and obviously now I am. <laughs> but again, it's like all, I did it myself. So <laughs> it's like a, it's like a weird paradox. What do you say paradox? Like I've put myself through a loop basically. Um, but hopefully to feel better on the other end of it. A few weeks ago it was this one that I saw a bit of hairs poking through and now I feel there's more hair on this side. So stuff is happening and stuff is going on, it's just like very slow. And I think I have to remember that my situation is quite different as well and that I'm uh, constantly putting myself out there online uh, and I have been doing, I've been a freelance content creator for nine years now. So I'm always taking photos of myself taking videos of myself, putting it online, looking at how I look and stuff like that. So compared to someone that's, I don't know, let's say works a nine to five in an office, they're not necessarily gonna be constantly sat there editing pictures of themselves um, to post on the internet. So yeah, it is a bit of a strange one. Um, but as with everything, I just have to give it time. Um, I think I have one more PRP treatment included with my hair transplant. So I'll be going back to the clinic in, I don't know, maybe six to eight weeks to get another PRP uh, administered. I have a few recent pickups that I wanna show you guys as well. So hopefully you don't mind a bit of hair transplant update and recent pickups in one video, but I thought I would just put them all together that way you can take everything in at once. I'm gonna whack you on a tripod so I can show you a couple of new pieces in my wardrobe and uh, as always everything is linked in the description box below. So I've had so many questions about this cap on Instagram. I've worn it on my story a few times at the moment. I only got it the other day and it's so so sick. It's like distressed, like sun damaged. It's actually perfect. It's from a brand called jcesarclo.com. I'll leave a link in the description box. And obviously with my hair transplant, I've been wearing hats like quite loosely. I mainly wear them for photos or like filming and then take them off for a bit because I don't want to wear a hat 
too much. Um, I will leave a link in the description box. You can check out their stuff. They've got some really, really sick pieces, but uh, the hat I am obsessed with. So the next couple of pieces, I'm going to show you are new drops from Arcana that I maybe haven't shared here on YouTube yet. If you watch my New York vlog with me and Scott, you would have seen me wearing these, but they are the oil spill cargo trousers. Now, I dropped some cargo trousers last April for Arcana and they sold out. They're like one of our best sellers. Before I restock them again in black, I wanted to do like a new updated version and basically I wanted to do a kind of fucked up distressed moment so basically these cargos start off like a light grey and then the dyeing process basically basically gives them like an uneven black uh, pattern all over them and it's different for every single pair so obviously you can see under here like under the pocket where the original colour of the cargos were but then all of this comes from the unique dyeing process for each individual pair so I'm so so excited that these are finally in stock and ready to ship. All people that have ordered them already they have gone out uh, and I do want to do a special code for you YouTube um, subscribers, watchers, viewers for Arcana just for a limited amount of time. So for one week after this video goes live, you will be able to get a discount. I'm going to put the code here on the screen. Um, you'll be able to get a discount on Arcana off your entire order. I just want to see like how many people from YouTube are actually uh, interested in Arcana and want to purchase pieces from there. So yeah, that is a little gift from me to you to celebrate the launch of the oil spill cargo trousers. I love these so much. They are a wide fit, they're super baggy. They are 220 pounds and worldwide shipping. They also, you can also get free shipping uh, over 200 pounds to most countries. So make sure you type in your address to check like how much the shipping would be or you can see your shipping options from the drop down there. Another one of our best sellers was the black glove top uh, that I launched just before Christmas last year. So I wanted to do a new updated version in this kind of like slate grey. I love the glove top. I wear it with so many things. I love this grey version too. It's actually oddly very flattering. Like when we first were looking at all the different fabrics and different colours we could use, I was a bit like sceptical about grey, but I was like, let's just sample it and see. And then when it came in and I tried it on, I was like, this is so, so sick. So yeah, if you've not tried one of our glove tops before, I would suggest uh, checking the size guide and looking at the bicep measurements and like the total length because basically the gloves are in a matching material and you don't want this part of the glove to be too loose so you want to make sure that that will like cling on to your bicep so the gloves stay up they're very they are very tight so it shouldn't be it shouldn't be loose and then also the total length because I've had some people say that um, like the small was too short on them but I'm like well you probably need to go up to like a medium or a large to make sure that the length is long enough for you. Do look at the size guide for every single piece, to be honest. And if you haven't peeped yet, this is the Arcana Heavy Metal Tee. This will be launching at the end of April. I actually wore this a lot in New York as well. It's like a cropped, boxy fit. It's oversized. It's so, so nice. The tone on tone print is amazing. Um, I absolutely love this tee and I'm very, very excited for this to drop. I have had so many messages about this t-shirt. I get more messages about this t-shirt uh, than any other Arcana piece, to be honest. So I'm so excited for this to drop. Uh, finally, I very kindly got sent this piece by Luisa Villaroma. Luisa Villaroma is one of my favourite online stores, so I was very, very excited when they uh, reached out to me about this. Um, but I picked up the Balenciaga tattoo top from summer 24 and it is so nice like i obviously have the vetmont top that demna did um while he was at vetmont and the difference in quality is insane like the mesh is a lot more see-through that these are available in multiple tones which is great for different skin colors with the name of the tattoo artist that they worked with but they worked with like an actual tattoo artist to develop all of these unique tattoo designs for Balenciaga. So you can see like Paris and BB written on there. The way that they've stitched the fabric together is like super reinforced, so I don't feel like it's gonna rip, but I do wish it had like a little bit more give in it. Uh, but luckily it fits me like a glove. Um, I would say if you are a bigger build than me, uh, I don't think you'll be able to fit in this top. Uh, I'm 6'1", usually wear size large. Um, but if you're bigger than that, like if you've got muscles, 
because I don't have a lot of muscles. If you're kind of stacked, I don't think this would fit you because even this, like on my uh, shoulders, because I've got quite broad shoulders, um, it kind of like creases a little bit when I try and move my arms. So yeah, I would be aware of that. But other than that, like if you're smaller than me as well, then go for it. It's so, so sick. It's such a unique and incredible piece. And I can't wait to like layer it with t-shirts, layer it with jackets. Uh, trick people into thinking that I have lots and lots of tattoos, um, which is really fun. And I think that is all I have to show you today. Thank you for listening about my hair transplant worries. Thank you for listening to me ramble on about clothes that I like. And if you ever want to chat, you can send me a DM if you're like going through a hair transplant or thinking about it too. Definitely reach out. Don't forget to follow me across YouTube, Instagram, TikTok. Um, and yeah. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.